welcome to another NCCS video tutorial. My name is Emmanuel and I'm an Applications Engineer here at NCCS. Today I'll be showing you how to convert an image into a DXF using the free program Inkscape. Download link in the description below. For those of you who don't know, Inkscape is a program which basically allows the user to edit illustrations such as diagrams, charts and logos etc. So let's get right into it. First thing we'll need to do is to open Inkscape and then import our image. We can do this by going from File, Import, and then selecting the image which we want to convert into a DXF. In this case, this kangaroo. You can look at these options, but for now, we won't worry about them. Next, you want to reposition your image into this page-like shape here, because inside here is where your image is actually going to be edited. You can drag it out a little bit if you want and make sure to select it before editing it because right now we don't want it to be in color so we're going to go to path trace bitmap click live preview so we can actually see what, what we do as we edit it and then sometimes you want to toggle these values for now what I want here is exactly what we have however say if this was a bit lower see here how the center lines in here have disappeared so we slowly increase it or decrease it until we get the desired result now the image lines have reappeared however you see here how the little steps in between for this example I don't really want that you might when you're editing yours but I'm not really too fond of it so I'm just going to change it to maybe about six yeah and that looks alright I'm going to click OK then exit. Now it's really important that you remove this and then remove your image. Inkscape puts the edited version on top of your image so perfectly that it is actually hidden. So if you just went ahead and de imported it as a DXF right away, you'd essentially have two images on top of each other, which if you use Metacam would become very, very problematic. So I'm going to move this back into the here, click File save as, change the option to DXF, just call it sk Skippy, with two P's because I feel like it, units, millimeters, okay. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open it in SolidWorks. So, control O to open, it's on our desktop, all files, and look for Skippy. There we go. Now it is a DXF, and we want to import it as a sketch. So import new part as 2D sketch. Click next. All good. Yeah. Finish. And there we have our kangaroo sketch. Now, if we want to do it in Metacam, Similar process. Import DXF desktop Skippy. Yep. Okay, and there we go. Alright, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, the solution of which you'd like to see made into a YouTube video like this one, please feel free to give me a call or an email. Hope you have a good day.